What's up? My name is Brad, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made Walter Ifix's Venator Mark I suit. So this project has been in the works for about two, two, two and a half, two and a half years now. I hope you can understand how excited I am about bringing this to you finally for the first time. There hasn't been a lot of things being published on this channel as of late. This is why. And I'm so excited to show you the entire process that it took to get to this point with the finished Venator Mark I. So with that said, let's rewind the clock two years to the start of this project. Hello Internet. I'm Walter Vick, and welcome to the first day of Project Venator. It is April 1st, and that's no joke, 2016. Walter is a motor vlogger who makes vlog videos on his motorcycle. Walter's known for his crazy helmets that he makes, as well as his crazy personality and antics. So we thought he needed a crazy suit to match. This is Brad, this is Daniel, and over here is Lance. What, what really appealed to me about this project was the fact that this would be a project that completely came from my brain. The only kind of projects that I've ever worked on have been following a specific blueprint, following guides, following pictures, whether it be scratch building, of course. It was made to replicate something that has already been designed and created in the past. So this project started in here from the very beginning. And in order to get these ideas from my head onto paper and translate it into real life, that was gonna be a huge undertaking. So the first step in designing this suit was to bring on a graphic design artist named Lance Killier. Go follow his Instagram right here, Lance Killier Art. This is where I first met Lance. So he's actually designed this Living With Chief shirt right here. So he's, he's done a lot for me, he's done a lot for Walter as far as art design goes. And so we thought it would be a perfect match to bring him onto this project. <laughs> a general design. I am super excited to start making this thing happen. I feel old. We just went through all of the, the video for the beginning of this project and we aged. <laughs> Baby Walter, <laughs> it's been a while. But one of the reasons why this suit took so long was because we were also designing a new helmet that did not end up working with the finished product. So I will cover that on a completely different video, but what I want you to know is that Matter Hackers played an integral part of creating that helmet. Link in description, they make all kinds of 3D printers. They were gracious enough to join up with me to create this helmet that we ended up not being able to use, but in and of itself is an awesome, awesome build. After the helmet was finally finished, the next step was to move on to the creation of the suit. This suit was scratch built out of EVA foam. Whenever I'm scratch building a completely new suit, the first thing that I do is I try to build the most basic form out of all of the other parts. It kind of gives you the overall outline that you're looking for in, in your costume. It's going to be a very, very rough form, but we're going to clean that up here in a little bit.
The next step is to add the detail. Now it's time for Plasti Dip and Paint. Let's go to the store. The next step is to seal your foam parts. I like to use Plasti Dip. I know a lot of people use different things. Epsilon from Smooth On, PVA glue, but I'm gonna go with a Plasti Dip for this suit. The next step creating Walter's suit is paint. We're going with flat black. So after I finished painting Walter's suit, I left it out to dry for probably about two to three days to make sure everything is completely cured. The next step that I took is installing LED lights. If you've seen anything about Walter Riffick, you know that he is an LED light fanatic. Look at his bike. Everything is very lit up. This suit is going to be no exception. So after everything is strapped in, all the lights work, everything is painted and ready to go, the only thing left to do is try it on.
Da -da -da -da. And how do you feel, Walter? I was gonna say, moist. You can't see it in here, but it's uh, obviously very foggy. But otherwise, look how limber and young I am. Very limber and young. <laughs> well, I guess that about wraps this project up, right, Walter? I'm sure freaking hope so. I'm excited. Definitely go and check out Walter's channel if you haven't already. Amazing motor vlogger. Oh, you need content. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now. Now there's going to be a lot more you yeah, need dude. content. Look at you. Be sure to check that out for a lot more of this suit. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Right, Walter? See. Well, Walter won't be there, but I will. Yeah.